It's Monday, the clock is almost half past 11. I had my oats this morning and now I'm having lunch. And uh, Matt uh, like prepped a, a pasta lunch yesterday and he said that if I wanted one, I could have it. So I'm having pasta a la Matt today. <laughs> it's a uh, whole, whole grain pasta, like fusilli, I think it's called with um, ground beef and onion and some kind of tomato sauce. So I'm having this and I might have some cheese on top of that as well. Let's put you here. So I'm just gonna heat that up in the microwave. So I'll just top it with this. This is cheddar and mozzarella. This, oh my God, oh, I feel like I'm looking very rough. <laughs> this uh, weekend or this week has actually been pretty rough with buddy because he as you know he still like has issues like on and off with his neck he last week got um like a small wound in on his stomach that he will n not stop trying to lick uh we tried everything like because i didn't want him to use like a uh, collar i wanted to try to just cover the wound first see if that would work so we tried uh boys boxers that didn't work <laughs> they were too big for him. Uh, we tried uh, baby diapers uh, and we tried band-aids and uh, nothing worked. So we bought a, like a, a collar. I can actually show you because he's wearing it now. I can't leave him. Oh. I can't leave him without the collar because he will try to lick the wound. like a cartoon character. My heart hurts so bad from looking at him. Oh yeah, my lunch. Ha! Hot. There's a leaf blower outside, if you couldn't tell. How can the bowl be so hot I can barely touch it, but the food is still cold? Yeah, so now he has to wear that collar every night. And also, if I'm not able to sit and watch him, he has to wear it because he will try to lick it all the time. We also found out that if the scab was dry, that it was it would just like tear open again and start to bleed. So we have to like put uh, ointment on it regularly throughout the day. And he has to wear that collar when I'm, I'm not watching. So luckily the collar doesn't bother his neck. And I did ask a bit about that before I tried to put it on him. Today I have been working and I have edited today's video that's going up. <laughs> and after this, I'm gonna work some more. This is lunch. I tasted it yesterday when he made it and it's just delicious. So I'm really looking forward to this. I should have had Parmesan on top. Damn it. Dinner today is um, kind of weird. It's the uh, leftovers of what we have. So I had a fish patty that I chopped up and cooked it with some rice and some peas and topped it with some mayo. That's today's dinner. So it's the next day and I made myself breakfast. Um, I have just oats with peanut butter and jam and I have two eggs that I believe is perfectly cooked yes perfectly cooked eggs so that is, that is my 
breakfast for today. Wednesday. We're actually halfway into Wednesday. It's like uh, half past two now. Currently just lying on the bed watching Buddy. Um, he's sleeping. Or he might be half awake. No, he's awake. Hi. Hi, Popo. Yeah, I took the the neck thing off him so that he could have a rest without it so he has been sleeping without it for a couple of hours now i think for the past couple of days or almost week i have just been like mostly staying inside just watching him and it's crazy how much you feel like shit when staying so much inside and just, just laying here watching him. And I either sit and watch him or I sit and watch YouTube or social media while watching him. And I don't know, I just feel like shit after the past couple of days. But I don't want to do anything else either because I want to... I want to be here and make sure he's okay. So I bet you can relate if you have a dog. You know, it's it's difficult when they're in pain and if when something's wrong yeah so it has been a difficult past couple of days i'm just really hoping that he's better soon his scab is still there it's like barely hanging on so i'm just waiting for that to fall off so i can like wash the his his stomach area because it's like so greasy there now from all the ointment and uh, i really wanna not put the the collar thing on him anymore so Hopefully the scab will fall off soon and hopefully his neck will be better soon as well so I can relax a bit more. If his neck isn't better in a couple of days I will most likely take him to the vet again to see if they can take some pictures or something. But I'm really really not sure what to do now because it's Wednesday and I'm supposed to have a video up tomorrow and I haven't filmed anything and I was supposed to film like a 24 hour eating video but I really wasn't in the mood for it because of everything that's going on. So I don't have a video for tomorrow. So I was thinking maybe I should just end the vlog today and have that up tomorrow. But I really like week vlogs as well. So I'm I hate to cut it short after half a week. And I want to film the like like the last half of this week as well because we have a lot of fun things planned. So I don't know what to do. <sighs> after being so much inside for the past couple of days, I just feel so unmotivated and. 
lethargic and just uninspired and just worrying about Buddy also just adds to that. This is definitely the downside with doing YouTube alone is making these decisions alone and like planning everything and just everything that goes into filming and editing and publishing. It's a very lonely job. Well, it's not a job because I don't make any money from it. It's a lonely hobby. <laughs> yeah. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Ugh. He is awake now, so I think I should take him out. Biddy! I'm here to pick up a package. Can you guess where it's from? Okay, I thought they would have the logo on the uh, on the packaging, but they don't. But without showing my address, Cooper's candy. It's so dark already, and it's just like just past four o'clock. It's a nice darkness, though. It feels kind of cozy. I did a poll on Instagram yesterday asking you guys if you wanted to see a half a vlog today or and half a vlog on Monday or if I just should just skip upload today and have a whole vlog on Monday and surprisingly enough the majority of you guys wanted to see half a vlog today and half a vlog on Monday yeah but your wish is my command so I'm going to edit this and have this up today and then I will just film the weekend and have that on Monday. So I will film like until before lunch or something, I think, today. And um, that will be it. This is today's uh, breakfast. The same thing I usually have. <laughs> Protein oats with Lily's sugar-free baking chips. This is a white chocolate and cashew butter and salt. So I'll head to the gym in about like 30 minutes. 45 minutes, uh, so I, I don't want to have a too big of a lunch. So I made myself some vanilla yogurt with a tiny bit of Dulce Delicious Toast Crunch on top and an apple. So I have been to the gym and I have had a shower and I realized that I'm kind of in a rush if I'm going to have this video up today. <laughs> so I'm going to have to end the, the video here, but I wanted to just show you the package I got. I realized that I kind of left you hanging with the Cooper's Candy package and uh, I'm going to show you what I got. And I also wanted to show you this. I showed you, we bought this from the store we have here that's called uh, Normal. And this is like a Reese's box. It looks like an advent calendar, but it's not. It's just a collection of uh, Reese's products. So it's like this. And we had the Reese's Overload uh, yesterday or the day before, I don't remember. But yeah, it's Overload, it's the Nut Rages, it's the Sticks, it's a regular peanut butter cup, it's the Big Cup, and it's the White Peanut Butter Cup. So, this was a cool find. I love Reese's. Like, of all the brands, it's probably one of my top five, three, I'm not sure. <laughs> and from Cooper's Candy, I actually got uh, Instant Grits. <laughs> I've just had grits once before. I'm just gonna wait till he... Yeah, I think I've only had grits once before. Uh, I think that, that was in New York. 
it was okay. I don't quite remember how it tasted, but these were on sale because I think it's out of date, but I just wanted to test it out. It's instant grits with butter flavor. I like porridgey stuff, so I just I was just curious. And I got a Cadbury Dairy Milk Mystery Bars, one and two. I have seen some British YouTubers talk about these and that they like have mystery flavors. I don't think these are new. I think these probably are like old products, but uh, yeah, I was really excited when I saw them. We will probably taste these in maybe the next vlog. Yeah, so that's it. Very small haul. And I also just wanted to mention because I filmed that we um, have made the Prulites um, lemon meringue pie the other day. It's from this book that I got, the Great British Bake Off book. So we tested her lemon meringue pie and it was good, but it's very sour. And I suppose maybe that's how they usually are. I've never had a lemon meringue pie before. Um, I think I would have it, I would like it to be sweeter, but it was still good. Yeah, so I just wanted to mention that because you saw us making it, but I never gave you a review of how it was. Yeah, so that was the first thing we have tested in this book and I'm so excited to test out more stuff. That's it, I have two hours to edit this video, upload it, make a thumbnail. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna make that. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Hope you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.